Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, I hope you enjoyed this video and return to watch another one. Today I'll be cooking yam pottage. No, uh, in Yoruba it's called asaru. This is very peculiar, it's a very peculiar dish um, to the western people of Nigeria. Also in, the, in eastern Nigeria and I think maybe some parts of the northern Nigeria as well. For this, uh, for this uh, a recipe, you would need white yam, macro fish, palm oil, vegetable oil, tomato sauce, spices to your taste, water, medium-sized onion, and a vegetable green of your choice. I start by cutting and slicing the yam and, and cutting them into smaller pieces. You peel and you cut into smaller pieces. Pardon the fact that I'm wearing gloves, I just uh, like to keep away a mess from my hands sometimes. And at times some of the, um, the juice from the yam can be itchy, so I like to wear gloves to keep that away from my hands. But it's not necessary for sure. So once you've cut everything into um, smaller pieces, now I have, I have it all washed, cleaned and washed. The next ingredient on the list is mackerel fish. You don't have to use mackerel fish, you can use smoked fish or whatever type of meat or that you like. Um, my choice today is mackerel fish. I'll cut and clean and cook it. Here I have it all cleaned and um, I have some water in here because I want to use some of the um, the, 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 the flavor from the fish or maybe I don't know if you want to call that fish broth or whatever um, to flavor the, the dish. I've used all my own my favorite spices you can use spices of your own choice and just um, add to your dish to your taste. So I'm gonna leave the fish on the gas to cook for a little bit. Once the fish is completely cooked, I'll, I will um, then break it up and debone it. I take out every piece of bone in it uh, to prepare it for the asaru. And as you have it here, I have deboned it, taken out all the bone and cut it into smaller pieces. So now let's start putting all the ingredients together. I have my pots that I'm going to use to cook the asaru on gas or on the stove. I lower the heat so it's not the pan is not too hot as I add the palm oil. So the first thing I add is the palm oil. Because I'm cooking a whole um, medium size or maybe even a big size uh, a yam, you would say. It's, the yam will come in different sizes. I think this is a little bit more than medium size yam. I'll be using three to four uh, cooking spoons of palm oil. If you're familiar with African cooking, a lot of it is just eyeball and uh, you eyeball the ingredients. So it's not like, you know, the typical one tablespoon, two tablespoons kind of thing. With practice, you get to know what works and what doesn't. Now, I also add vegetable oil. This is completely optional. This is just something I add when I make asaro. It's up to you. If you like it, you can definitely not add it to your cooking. If you've ever been on my channel or if you've watched the rest of my videos, I have uh, tried to make tomato sauce. This I have been cooking for a little while before I started this dish. If you want to know how to do this, I'll leave the link below and you can watch that video how I made my tomato sauce. There are a number of ways to make it, but the way I do, I do it, you'll find it in the video that I link below. Now that the palm oil has, is, uh, is now a little bit uh, uh, heated up, I will add the tomato sauce. Thank you. 
In cooking yam pottage, some people cook it a little differently. I'm starting by frying my sauce to make sure it tastes perfect, well fried, and tastes and uh, and the taste is what I like. So people will cook the yam and then start to add um, in all of these ingredients into the yam. Now, why I don't like that method is because the yam would already be completely cooked and all of the sauces would just be around the yam when you're eating it. So the me this method, you fry the stew and then you pour the yam into it, as you'll see that I'm going to do shortly. The, that allows the sauce, the stew or the fried stew to go into the yam so that every piece of the yam that you eat from the pottage has, is a little tasty. It doesn't just taste like a plain yam. Now you add spices to your taste. I showed you my favorite spices to use. It's up to you what tastes good to you. Add to your taste. Again here you see I'm just, you know, adding my spices without using a spoon. This is because I'm so used to just, you know, um, adding my spices right from the bottle. I know how much I need, but please be careful. Don't do the same. If you're not comfortable with it, you can use your spoon to scoop your spices so you don't end up turning in, adding too much to your food. I guess you could say here that I'm just keeping it real. That's how I do it in my kitchen. And, uh, and I just thought, why not just show it the way I do it? Now I'm going to leave um, the, the sauce to fry for a little bit. After frying for about 10 to maybe 10 to 15 minutes, um, you can taste the sauce to see if it's well cooked and if it tastes perfect um, uh, according to what you like. I allowed it to cook a little bit more uh, because I want the stew to be, uh, or the sauce to be fried a little bit longer. Now I think maybe this is just about five or ten minutes uh, more. And as you can see, the the uh, tomato sauce looks a little bit more fried. Now I'm going to add the yam. Now you add water. So this water is what is going to cook the yam. Usually when I add water, I make sure I add water just up to the level of the, um, of the yam. As you continue, as the yam continues to cook, it absorbs the water. Some of the water will evaporate and some of course will be used to cook the yam. You may find that you need to add a little bit more. But be very careful adding a lot of water because when you mash the yam at the end of the day, it may become way too liquid, uh, more than you would really like. Then your asaro will become porridge instead of pottage. But of course, if you like it that way, why not? So the yam has been cooking for about uh, 20 minutes. Make sure your yam is well cooked. Here, um, I'm trying to see how far, um, how far gone it is. So I'm going to use a fork to just, you know, break through it. And once it's soft, then it's ready to mash. Let it take its time to cook until it is soft. 
now it's time to mash you may have one of these utensils I'm not sure what it's called but perhaps the masher or whatever uh, but this is what I use to mash the yam usually what I do I mash half of the pot because I like to have some chunk of yam in my in my pottage but if you want everything to be broken down you can as well mash the whole pot but as you see here I mash just half of the pot So now I mix up, mix everything together, the mashed plus the unmashed, so everything becomes really um, well mixed together. As you can see, I have some chunks and I have some puree or you know some mashed uh, yam. This is the way I like it, um, and I think it's it's usually the way that it should be done. But some people may go ahead and mash everything. It's up to you how you like it. But this is how I like it. Now, um, this is the vegetable of my choice. I don't have spinach, but I have some um, shredded um, kale. So I'm choosing to add kale to my asaro. You may want to add spinach, you may want to add ugo leaves if you like, but for me I'm using kale today and also I've added the fish. Here I have the medium sized onion nicely cut and I also add that to the dish. You can really go far with your asaro in terms of whether you use mackerel fish, smoked fish, some people will add snail, just do what you like. It, it usually it will turn out very well regardless of the type of um, you know protein meat or whatever that you choose but today I'm just keeping it simple I'm using mackerel fish just adding a little bit more kale I also like the way the grain whether the spinach or, or kale or ugu leaves I love the way it's you know it colors as a it adds a contrast to the dish so when you serve it, you have, you know, you have the green and then you have the red or orange <laughs> pot, uh, pottage. I love how it's, uh, you know, it sets that contrast. It's really nice. Now that all our ingredients is in, uh, everything has been put together. Now I let it cook for about maybe five minutes more. And be sure to taste it. Make sure all your spices, uh, you've added enough spices uh, to your taste. After mashing the yam, it's important to taste it because now you've mashed a lot more yam. Uh, the yam, uh, now you've mashed a lot more yam. So the spice that you added earlier may not be enough. So you may need to top it up. So always taste to make sure everything is good. And now you have the dish. Bon appetit. Please like, share and subscribe and return again to watch another video. Thanks for watching.